What's up you awesome people? I'm Julian coming through with another music video review just for you. This time we got Akon and Eminem Smack That which was dropped 14 years ago and has over 1.3 billion views. Hell yeah, let's dive right into this. But I will say, was this only 14 years ago? Because I have a feeling that even though the music video dropped on YouTube 14 years ago, I feel like it's definitely older. Anyways, just before we go, the link is down below. But please help the channel grow by whamming that like button and bamming that subscribe button. All right, let's dive right in. So immediately, you know the song, I know the song. It was a club banger, like Eminem says in the song. And I will say I've heard it many times, all different places, radio, clubs bars, even, oddly enough, some restaurants. But hey, here's what I got to say about it. Jumping right into, for a club banger, it is kind of a soft beat. It's just like, you know, it's not a romance song, 100%. It's like, you know, smack that, smacking booties on the floor. It's like literally not a romance song, but it's like the beat kind of has that could be, you know, a romantic type of song, but they go in a different direction. I would say the lyrics do, do get very catchy, whether or not you like them or not, they become very catchy, and the lyrics being catchy then makes the beat a bit more club feely and more catchy, in my opinion. I will say I definitely enjoyed the lyrics, not necessarily the point of the lyrics or the messages, but I enjoyed how they sounded better than how the instrumental initially sounded. But as I listen to the song now, back when it first came out, it does grow on you, you know, in my opinion. I will say, I think Eminem has the best verse of the two Akon verse Eminem. Really like Eminem's verse, my favorite part of the whole song. Uh, but Akon was fine. I will say his third, his last verse, I felt was kind of weak. I feel like if he would have spent a little bit more time in the booth or really perfecting that, it could have been better. But hey, song works. It's a classic. Clearly has over a billion views. So I'm not hating. Just stating my opinion. And, you know, again, it works. Catchy, great chorus. But I just feel like a kind of verses, especially that last one could have been better. But hey, that's what I got to say. Music video, that's where it's really cool. I, I give props to the music video. I like the music video much more than the song because it includes, you know, overall, it's a lot of like hip hop, rap, music video type shots. You know, they're at the club, booty popping, you know, Eminem's rapping, Akon's just doing his thing. Shots of clubs, shots of individual Akon, Eminem rapping, but then I would say the really cool part about the music video is the storyline. It opens with Akon in jail just simply rapping the song, you know, convict, just rapping it. And then Eric Roberts, the actor, which by the way, I think this is the best Eric Roberts performance I have ever seen. He is Julia Roberts' brother. He's in over a hundred movies. You've seen him, even if you don't know his name. But anyways, he is the parole officer dude at the beginning. And part of the reason I think this video was definitely older than 14 years ago is Eric Roberts, even having the white hair back then, looks so much younger. Look at that face. Anyways, I will say it's a cool concept. Basically, the Eric Roberts character is like, hey, Akon, I'm going to get you out, but I need you to help me find someone. Akon's like, why would I do that? What's in it for me? And then Eric Roberts is like, the girl that you love, you can go see. So, boom, he gets him out. Akon gets his bling, and then they immediately go to the clubs and start investigating because I guess they know that they have to go to the clubs to find the dude that they're trying to investigate. Eric Roberts gets distracted by the beautiful women, so he starts dancing with them while Akon does his thing, truly trying to find the woman. At one point, he gets very angry and randomly throws a glass at a mirror. It's like, bro, what are you doing? Keep a low profile. Also, why? It just looks aggressive. Anyways, he eventually finds the girl who leads him to the guy that Eric Roberts really wants, you know, who they're trying to find. And does Akon bring that dude to Eric Roberts? No. Spoiler alert. Akon just runs away with the girl and Eric Roberts, you know, after being distracted by the beautiful women on the dance floor, realizes that. He's like, oh no, I just left, left the, lost the convict. And it ends with Akon running away with the girl. Who knows where he went? And uh, Eric Roberts definitely just lost his job and might be going to jail. The character, not actually Eric Roberts, you know. But hey, that's what I got to say. That's my opinion of the day for that song. Let me know what you think of Smack That and tell me what is the best Eminem feature because he crushes this and what is the best Akon song because it's classic but Akon, I feel, has done so much better since then. Let me know your opinion. Y'all are awesome. I appreciate you. But get the haters and have a great day.